Hey YouTube subscribers and watchers, this is Anki and you are watching Slide Note. Today we are going to talk about data types in Python. So let's get started. Last time we saw numbers, so today we are going to take another example of data types that is strings. Strings in Python can be expressed with double quotes and also in single quotes. Let's take an example. Here I have a variable called slide node. It has a particular value assigned to it. You can see out here there is a single quote opening some characters and then a single quote closing. Similarly out here I have a double quote opening some set of characters and a double quote closing. Anything in between single quote and double quote is defined as a string in Python. If I print the variable, I get the value stored in the string. So that's the way you express strings in Python. Let's understand a phenomenon out here. If I start my variable slide node with a double quote and I terminate it with a question mark but not with double quote I will get something called as a phenomenon of EOL that is end of line error end of line error signifies that your closing character or literal is not correct that means if I start my string with a double quote I have to terminate it with a double quote only similarly if I start my string with a single quote I have to terminate the string in single quote only if I use any other character except these, I get something called as an EOL. That is nothing but your end of line error. In simple language, it means your closing parameter is missing. In Python, you can write multiple lines of strings by using a special character called as three single quotes. Three single quotes are normally used to write multiple lines. Here I have a variable called slide node and I have opened a three single quote. Peculiarity of this particular three single quote is you can write endlessly inside the parameter of three single quotes. So if I start out here three single quotes and I terminate out here three single quotes, whatever I write out here will be represented in total as what I write in my variable. So if I print the value of variable, I get the same format of representation as what I am storing in the variable. So that is a special case of Python. Let's understand some problems in handling with string. So let's understand how do you write a string with aren't, can't and wouldn't. Now the problem out here is if I start my string single quote and I write aren't the problem is the apostrophe is actually recognized as a single quote by Python. So let's take an example and understand this phenomenon. Slidener is a variable name. I have a value which starts with a single quote. It says with says double quote there aren't apostrophe t now the error out here or the problem for the python compiler is python compiler is going to recognize the single quote opening as the opening of the string or the starting of the string and the single quote closing as the ending of the string so anything beyond that is not recognized by python similarly out here i have a single quote starting and a single quote termination again this particular area which is between the single quotes is again recognized as a string. Now the biggest problem out here is going to be one variable is actually denoting two different strings. Now this is where Python is going to get confused or I can say the interpreter is going to get confused. So actually it identifies two different strings for one variable. So this is the error of writing anything with apostrophe inside the string if you are using a single quote opening so how do you solve this problem well 
There are two ways you can solve this problem. First is like I told you, you can use a three single quotes. By doing so, Python will only identify three single quotes as the starting of the variable of the string and three single quotes as a termination of the string. So anything inside that any single quote or double quote is recognized as a part of the string and Python will ignore everything else. So that's one way of solving the problem. That is nothing but using three single quotes to start and at the start and at the end. Next, you can also make use of something called as a special character, which is called as an escaping character in this case. Now, a backslash is normally referred as an escaping characters generally. What it does is, it will tell the compiler to ignore the next character which is available after the backslash or the escaping character. So in this case, if I have aren't and before the apostrophe, I am actually using the escape character in this case. What will happen is this particular single quote is ignored by the Python compiler. So now Python will make sure that this is the starting of the string that is single quote and the one out here at the end is the ending of the string and due to the use of special character these single quotes are now omitted by the compiler. So now the problem is solved. Let's have an example of how do you embed values in the string. Here I have a variable subs equal to 17,000, news equals to slide nerd has hit percentage s subscription. I print the value of news percent sub. Now to embed a particular value in python we make use of this particular special character that is percentage. What happens in this case is wherever you are using the character the value corresponding in the print statement is picked up and replaced in this particular area. So here I have a variable that is your subs is equal to 17,000 and news equals to slider that has hit um, some percent subscription. This percentage actually denotes that the value of the subs or the variable sub which is holding a particular value is going to be used in this particular variable that is news. Now the place where it has to fit in is the place where this particular percentage s is denoted. So now if you see if I print the value I get slide nerd has hit 17,000 subscriptions. So that's the way you embed a value in python using percent s as a special character. Similarly, it's not only that I can make use of a variable, I can also replace the value in a dynamic fashion. So let's take an example and understand this. How do you perform that? I here I have a variable called as joke. Now here this particular joke has a string value assigned to it. It says what did number percent s that means I'm going to embed a value somewhere out here says to number percent s that means second value is going to be embedded out here question mark and the next comment is nice belt. So let us see what is happening out here. I say print joke that is a variable. The moment I write percent that means some values are going to be embedded in the places where percent s is actually sitting in the variable or in the string. Now the moment I write a 0 and 8 it is by default that the first value will sit in the first percent s and the second value will sit in the second percent s. You can also multiply strings. So what is 5 times 5? Well, it answer is pretty simple. I can say it's 25. But what is 5 times a? So in Python, there is a special thing of multiplying a string literal or a string character by using a number. So here I have a statement which says print 5 times a. Now the moment I hit enter, there is an error shooting out which says name a is not defined. Now a in this case is not a string. Since it is not a string, Python cannot multiply a string literal with a integer. The moment I write print 5 times character or a string a, I get the value nothing but 
a printed five times so if you multiply a string with a number or an integer you get the value of the in value of the string repeated integer times so next if i have 10 times b i will get 10 b printed so let's take another example of this here i have a particular value called as space equals to a blank string into 50 that means this particular string is going to be printed 50 times next i'm printing a particular statement and i'm saying out here print percent s now the percent s out here you are going to replace some value which is available in a variable in this particular string the moment it is supposed to be printed so ahead i'm specifying which variable should be replaced by percent s that is nothing but space in simple language 50 times spaces is going to be replaced in this particular percent s value next again i have percent s that means again i'm going to embed a value and the embedding variable is space next line again i have a percent s and that means i'm going to embed a value and the embedding variable is percent space and so on and so forth it's so pretty simple enough so let's see what is the output of this particular code and the output of this particular code in python shell looks like this so if you like what you saw please like the video comment below and subscribe to slide nerd stay tuned for more on python thanks for watching